Hello everyone and welcome back to my final Doctor Who B&M 2020 figure reviews. Now today I'm going to be taking a look at the history of the Dalek set number two featuring the Dalek Supreme and a standard Dalek drone from the Dalek invasion of Earth. The box is what we all know by now, shows off the logo, the figures inside, got the name of the set on one side the TARDIS and on the other one a little smaller picture. But on the back it's got the nice images of the Daleks themselves, a little bio on the Daleks and then a bio on the history of the Daleks prop. One thing to mention as well that comes with this set is a nice little diorama of the outside of the Dalek ship. So the first figure we're going to take a look at is the Dalek Supreme. So this was originally released back in 2009 in part of the San Diego Comic Con set. No, I don't have that set. I was never lucky enough to get it, but it's nice to finally have the Supreme Dalek. Pretty much this is just the same body as the Dead Planet Dalek like I reviewed yesterday, except for the dome is now black in the Eye stalk has been painted black as well. The iris on this one is smaller, just so you can tell the two apart if you have both of them. The neck rings are all painted nicely. The silver and the shoulder sections all black and silver. The guns look excellent and the plunger. However, on the back of this prop, the noticeable difference when compared to the Dead Planet Dalek is that it has a saucer dish on it as well. And just taking a look at the skirt, it's got darker blue orbs or whatever we're calling them. Another thing to mention is that the base is obviously considerably higher when compared to a Dead Planet Dalek. And it's got some scuff marks on it as well. Something quite nice that they didn't have to do, but it just adds a lot more to the figure in general. The second figure we're going to be taking a look at is pretty much the exact same Dalek. Just painted in a silver instead of the black. And it looks really nice. It's a very simple figure. Uh, it was obviously released back in the 2013 sound effects line, I believe. And the only real difference is that the eyepiece is, well, the eye stalk is a different mold now. So it's the more silver, bigger end with the white iris. And it looks quite nice. Obviously all the detail remains, so the saucer dish on the back the paint apps on the skirt, the shoulder section, the guns, the plunger looking all nice. And once again, the base has the scuffs on them as well. If you compare this one to the original sound effects release, you can see that the silver is much brighter on this new release. The rim around the eye stalk also looks um, thinner as well. And I think that's actually in the sculpt. If we take a look at the articulation, the head can do a full 360 degrees. The eye stalk can move up and down. The plunger and the gun are on a ball joint. And there are three wheels on the base of the dial. It can move forwards, backwards, and can rotate as well. So that's it for this video. And this brings to a close my summer B&M reviews for this year. So until the next lot of figures come out, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Bye for now. Don't forget to click below and subscribe. Well, how could I possibly forget that? For goodness sake. You've got the message, haven't you? Don't forget.